sure. No, I'll just wait here. I'll just wait here. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fast. Uh huh. I'll just wait here for good old Crane Eyes Johnson. Oh, uh, tip. Oh god. <laughs> they are trapped by this system. Oh, this Jesus this God. is peak theme park. They can't leave. Impalas glued together. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a lot of impalas. <laughs> okay. All right. So, depending on how oh, this card goes. Howdy, folks. It's the deputy. Howdy. It's Mr. Tex. And we are here with Bean and G doing some automation cards once more. We are going to take out from the historical record vault some of the finest cars ever made by the mighty, mighty folks at Beeple Motors. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Uncomfortable throat clearing. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> got more people uh, motorwerk yeah people motorwerk uh it's it's a company um that's that's what it says on the thing it's a company <laughs> with a safety factor of six. <laughs> oh damn that dr christmas uh good times all right we we got we got some cars um we we have some cars uh, we made some cars. Rather, I, I made some cars. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Keep on smiling. Up. All right. So huh? we need to start off uh, with the 49 Ramblomatic. Uh, this is a post war car. Um, it is austere. It is made out of a single bathtub of pressed steel. Everything's steel and as cheap as can be. It is a um, legally a car. Uh, as Beeple Motors, you know, motto was keep on smiling. They meant it. Uh, the grill was from a barbecue grill. Uh, this this is the only Beeple Motors vehicle to ever have a uh, a hood sticker. Uh, they were left over from a toy line that had since gone defunct. Um, mm. Unicorn, you know, just, just kind of a fancy sticker. They painted those individually, so kind of a little-known fact. Um, the tires and everything are harder than the car is. And, uh, yeah, it's, everything's reasonable. One of the other, don't look at my plies. Don't look at my <laughs> bias plies. Now the, uh, the trunk space, uh, the two, the two caps on the, uh, on the, on the, uh, on the fins, uh, th those are fuel fins, uh, mm. a, a beeple, a beeple staple, you know, fuel fins, um, you might notice that the BPL is um, prominently off -center. displayed. Now, it's it is off center. Uh, that's because it was a last minute idea. Of people would say, "What the fuck is that?" And so they has a trailer hitch for God knows what reason. Um, now I'm gonna say this: it has an engine. That's that's all I have to say about it. It it has an engine. Um, oh. it, there is a, there is a number of horsepower. Don't, don't fuck with my tuning. It's, it's, it's perfect. No, I, I, I thought assure that you. would open the hood. No, not, no. I'm implying you can do that. Implying you can do that. It, no, don't, don't open the hood. Why would you, 
Yeah, because it's BeamNG. It's probably not going to let you do a lot of little things, like get into it, because there's probably no 3D model in there. Just like Beeple Motors, build your own interior. Uh, zero to 60? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It, it will, it will it go does. zero. Yes. It will go zero and 60. All right. Let's test it. Let's see what this thing can do. It, it possesses many, uh, vehicle things like, um, doors. Um, it is, it, it is, it is a car there complete done handled cars cars are good cars it it possesses uh many car attributes um many uh oh, many car attributes crunchy okay all right fire fire it up let's see what we got here all right uh-huh okay let's go okay now you may notice the tack on the right yeah uh all right there we go. I forgot how to change gears. That's not it. That is not what it. What is that? I don't look at that. That's probably <laughs> dangerous to look at. But look, we're going. We're going. Uh, it goes to 2,000 RPM. Uh, it goes from 1 to 2. Nice. A lot of stop. A lot of stop. Because it doesn't have much go. That's the tagline. It really it's a very to... safe Ooh. it's it's a very safe car um it's hard to go fast uh don't do that <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like I'm I wouldn't recommend GTA it too. it it yes it's like that um it's it is a car it oh look at that i got a wheel Notice off the ground <laughs> at 20 miles an hour squealing yes it, it will it will do that I don't know what is shift in this. Oh, I wouldn't say this is a Trabant. Trabants are capable of far more horsepower. All right. Anybody remember what I set shift to? That's a good question. Um, I'm presuming I'm presuming it is it is an option. Uh, let's get into controls and vehicle controls, probably. Yeah. And uh, let's see, first gear. It's in oh. C? That's awful. Why would I set them to that? It's as awful as the car. That's probably the settings on the gear shift. Remember to X up. Numpad one, huh? All right, you're going to two-fist this? I'm left All right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> devil hands. You got the devil hands. Hi, Mr. Train. Mr. Hi. Train, Mr. Train. Please quit honking in the backyard. <laughs> All right, look. Uh, parking brake is P. P Please. for park. Uh, 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 okay. No, I don't want to take screenshots. I want shift up. Get a new there binding. you go. Shifts up. Uh huh. We're gonna do what? Numpad one. All right, then hit apply. Okay. What are we working on? There it goes. Okay, shift down. Uh, maybe numpad too. Pablo, you're not you're not an engineer, right? not an automotive engineer. You in, you engineer like chemicals. You're like, how many spider webs to the gallon or something? No, this is that's close enough. Th this is automotive engineering. This is banging metal together like pots and pans, but in motion. Uh, All right, there we go. Oh, we're did in you one. Give it another gear. I did. I think that might be the reverse gear. It has an engine. Oh, now you're in second. Did you see that? Oh, God. Okay, that's reverse. Park. Uh-huh. That does not sound good. I think I broke something. I, uh, yeah, I think you did, too. All right. Let's reverse through those gears on the gear shift, maybe. It will, All right. it will not come out of park. We find cars that make us go. <laughs> <laughs> so We're smart. Hitting, oh, oh God. Park is permanent. Yeah, so clearly numpad one is also reverse look. Oh, that's um, fine. Look at that. 
I mean, you do it in the reverse from 20 miles an hour. That's fair. That's fair. All right, let's let's see what two does. Okay, we're gonna get there. Just keep feeding it the beans. It's in two. She'll clip. Uh huh. Just keep stepping on it. I'll listen to that thing whistle. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't seem to do much. It it'll be fine. It it's look, it's not a great car, but it's a car. And I don't think you damaged anything. I think it's fine. It's uh We are mighty engineers. All right. It's yep. Got plenty of okay. torque at idle. It, this, I'm not adding any gas. It just wants to go. Yeah, it's it goes. It it's a car that goes. You know? Got a little pull to the right now. No, no, it's it's a car that changes as you change for the the transformational journey of owning a car is something something. I don't know. It sounds like a byline they'd use. It does. Maybe we can scrape that uh scrape that out of it. I bet you could. I know I would. This is called Detroit Body Works, son. Or uh, if 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 you look at any wall around any drive-through daiquiri stand, uh, the guest book. <laughs> <laughs> I am appalled when I go through a drive-thru and see all of the impact marks on the building. I I think it's signing the guest book. I was here. All right, so you managed to roll it at 11. <laughs> yep. That's amazing. All right, so let's let's see how fast it'll do a quarter mile. What do you think? Go ahead and put it in park. <laughs> yeah, oh, put it in park. That's right. You wouldn't want to ruin it. Wouldn't want it to no, go it, anywhere. Yeah, no, the, 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 the Beeple Motor Corp wanted to build a car that was indeed a car, but also made out of, um, you know, uh, steel bathtubs or iron bathtubs, you know, just pressed into a form and expanded some. All right, so are we ready? Let's do this. What do you think this is? Quarter mile? Eighth mile? What do, what do you think? I think that's an eighth mile. All right, let's see how fast we'll do an eighth mile. Let's do some counting, shall we? Are we ready? All right. Beep. Beep, go. Oh, there we go. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's see. I stopped. I, I forgot to count because I yeah, was embarrassed we, we, by the... Don't worry about it. You think this is a quarter, not an eighth? I don't, yeah, I, it's a quarter I, I mile. I suppose so. All right. Okay. Let's, let's do it on the return and see what we got. <laughs> Here we go. Fun fact about this engine, this thing is not even really reliable. How so? Uh, well, it. Uh, I had a lot of things I did to it that just make it as big as possible. So, like, if I made the RPMs higher, just the pistons would leave. All right. When you're ready. All right, let's count. All right, three, two, one, hit it. It won't let me do that. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, weird. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. <laughs> That's a 42 second car. Yeah, 42 second car. Um, uh, the standing quarter requires a calendar. Yeah, it's a car for grandpa. All right, let's go take it through the handling course as we yeah, uh, yeah. fart over there. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if it handles. We know you can roll it at 11. Come on, bathtub. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, oh, there we oh. go. Hold on. Did we, uh oh, what happened? Oh god, the wheel spin. It's like a tractor. Oh man. Okay. Right, now we're going to go another direction. 
No, no, no one can. It's it's a brand new vehicle. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're gonna go over these. Are we gonna are we gonna have some of this? What what are we doing? This is gonna be bad. All right. Um, ah. All right. Here goes the suspension. Here we go. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of that. A little bit of wobble. It's like shaking flan to see if it's set right. <laughs> It is not a good car. I love how you get this much ground and wind noise from 20. I have to it assume has a, you've got a lot of, like, just gaps in the bodywork. Oh, God, yes. Also, uh, there's leaf springs on this the size of a wagon's. So it, it, it can actually carry a lot. As you can see, <laughs> it has a lot of travel. Uh, there's not a car I would want to... Oh, my God. Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, this unstable. It, why is it going faster? I don't know. Going over things made it faster? How are we going faster? What is this car? It does 22, and then we start going. Is it detecting wheel slip, you think? Oh, yeah, that might be wheel slip from the wheels. Uh, oh, my God. Being out of contact this... with the ground. Because I don't think we're going physically faster through space no i don't think that this doomed devil machine can do it all right here we go here we go oh yeah, yeah. Like look here, at that we're pretty that confident. car's moving like date night <laughs> just about as graceful all right here we go let's let's go over them lumps let's see let's see Pablo, the problem with hitting a wall is that this thing lacks the speed to do anything really to it, but it'll tip over on its own, like if you just fart on it. Yeah, it's it's not very happy no matter what we do to it. No. All right, punch. Yeah, let's do this. This is punch. Oh, that's that Belgian parve, you know? Yeah, yeah, the Italian cobblestone. Sounds like uh, a horse. I know which one we're doing next. No, no, wait. Go back over this. Uh, I, I know, I know exactly what to do. Go, go back over that, and, and just in your head, imagine the start of Fortunate Son as you fly over it. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, 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 Bardo. <laughs> this sounds horrible. <laughs> what a piece of shit. All right. Someone Let's... recommended this game to me once in the Twitch chat, and the name with it. Uh, oh, made the link think it was porn. Oh, yeah, that's the, not the, good. The dot is. Uh, do we go through the one on the left or the right? You know, what, let's do the, let's do the one on the right. I'm pretty sure that'll hit the oil pan. I I built this car on sleep deprivation, and malaise was flowing through my veins. I think we can do this. Come on. Let's do it. Oh, no. Yes. Now that is some torque. And put your weight on it. Oh, that is bad. Oh, fuck, that is bad. Well, <laughs> I don't know how many bolts hold that together, but it's fewer now. Holy shit, look at that thing. That looked like something in a Jeep commercial. Yeah, it looks like something in a Jeep commercial, but it, like... <laughs> it's driven by a sociopath all right yeah let's see what this does all right oh, oh yeah yep oh wow oh hey yep okay and we're good oh <laughs> a little bit <laughs> squealing <laughs> nothing like a car that's all torque and as the handling of a drunken boat we should have called this thing the captain hazelwood <laughs> all right here we go the Exxon Valdez. Oh, good. That's not supposed to happen. Sparks flying off it. Good Lord. This is bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the, uh, I think we've tested the suspension. It has one. Um, it's a car. All right, let's uh, let's continue. Oh God. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, you think you can get up the hill? Why is it doing forty now? I don't know. What have you done? Why is the car faster? 
<laughs> I don't know. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. What the fuck? Is this the Tony Hawk of cars? No. Why? What? It... I... <laughs> It's, it's got the you, golf ball dimples on the hood and the... On. No, do not even say you helped make it aerodynamically better. It just... I, mm. <laughs> Suspension travel, continental drift. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I think this thing is not going to do well. Um, I, I am appalled and horrified that it... Yeah, I mean, people witnessed it. Witnessed. Done and done. Uh oh. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah. We got to do all the road tests. Oh, that's not. Yeah, that's a tail slapper right there. Notice how it's general crapness means. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Wait. Wait. Oh, no. All right, parked. Well done. I think, I think that's that one. It'll do 50 once. Put her in park. Shut the engine. Put her put her in park, shut her down. Still she doing six somehow. She is now part of the track. All right. Uh that that was the that, that was our first car, 49 people. Uh 49 people, very very austere car. Uh not a great car, you know. Uh, well, it was a but post-war it, period. I mean, everybody Yeah, it's post-war. Still... They were feeling yeah. their oats. Yeah, feeling their oats. <laughs> feeling their oats. You know, I got shot at in the <laughs> war, and I, I have horrible PTSD. I would like a car that both encompasses the lack of care I have received and the lack of care yet to come, and my short outlook on a 52-year medium lifespan. What shall I choose? Ah, yes, that one. The one made out of a bathtub. Now, the... I, I think the next thing we need to do is uh, either bring out the next car, which is the Beeple Detente. Um, the Beeple Detente is an interesting car. Uh, it is it is a car that is uh, a luxury car. Well, let's, let's... Um, yeah, we need to we need to obviously look it over. Uh, you know, we need to see what it got and what what it has. Uh, we need to give it a once over, and I'll, I'll point you out through some of the features of their. Um, car engineering i'm saying engineering with like air quotes you know uh, yeah 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 so so the people de ton is a ton and a half of what someone in 1951 thought luxury motoring looked like uh now an anti-flash white which mm. you know yeah For they sure. couldn't decide on yeah they, they couldn't decide on what headlamps to use so they used all of them um they decided that bumpers were very pat just pat meh who cares bumpers are for losers now this is the first emergence historically of beeple floor handles which are for if you have a whole bunch of shit in your hands and need to open the door you kick that door open floor handles some of these came open on the highway but not really important uh no front bumper all the different kinds of headlamps including rally lamps and what have you um a lot of power a uh, lot, lot of power has the gearing of a tractor or a tank alternatively. Um, oh, and also uh, extended fuel fins, as, as you may notice in the rear, uh, the rear does hold the fuel and uh -huh. uh, all that fuel sloshing around in those fins, two fuel fins, 110 gallon tank. Oh, wow. Um, 100, 110 gallons. Now there, there is something to note about uh, this car. Um, 110 gallon also, uh, runs on aviation gasoline, leaded aviation gasoline, because it was surplus and yeah. they decided that, you know, you, you could, if it was good enough to go in our right radial 1750, perfectly fine for this car, perfectly fine for this car. So I think that's what we need to do is we need to get our Beeple detente on the road and, uh, see, see what happens. This one's got some proper power. Uh, so we can we can try a few things. It has two radios. Um, I don't mean two radio aerials. It has four radio aerials. You may notice um, the front ones are AM, and the sh and the rear ones are FM and VHF. 
Uh, it has ah. two radios, uh, driver and passenger. Each have a radio. Um, so, you know, they, they were the pioneers back in the day of, uh, of uh, you know, two-zone radio. Mono, of course. Uh, but if you <laughs> put them on the same channel. Ch- yeah, you know. Uh, but so, yeah, see, it's, it's, you, you have two radios and, um, engine big, not oh, a lot man. of great plumbing underneath. Uh, don't worry about all that. That's all supposed to be there. I'm sure. Well, uh, can yeah. you, can you explain, uh, the drive shaft through the, through the muffler? That's a very unique well, design. It, it needed an eight inch muffler, uh, needed a, needed a big thick, you know, girthy muffler to make the engine not backfire. The problem was, is I had to route the drive shaft through the muffler to do that. Now I, I understand that you might be saying Tex, you're a fucking idiot. And how dare you? Beeple motors is an American tradition of motoring, motoring. Some would say excellent. Some would say hubris. Uh, but from hell's heart, let's drive this bitch. So let's, let's see what we got here. Very big, very big brakes in it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing that. Not, 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 uh, Outback overcooked my steak. I just had to tell somebody. At least it's not well fucking congratulations. Like we had at Ruth's Chris, which is the Olive Garden of steakhouses. All right. Now let's see what this thing does. Zero to 60, or actually quarter mile. Let's see what we go. All right, you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready, but the car is not? No, it is. All right. Okay, aggressive shift Three, there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen second quarter mile. And 51 is not bad. No, it's not. Now, you might ask yourself, why does this car only have three gears? Well, it's 1951. Go fuck yourself. You might also ask, why does this car not go 100 miles an hour? Because the company ran out of paint for the uh, speedometer. So they said 97 is cheaper. Oh, hell yeah. That's well done. I I think that's that's survivable. That's pretty impressive. Now, if you don't like your neck, that's perfectly survivable. Now, See if you old, like turning uh, your neck, you're not not so much. The old Dale Earnhardt, huh? Yeah, it's a bad one. So here's what we're going to do. Why don't we take it over the... Um, oh, let's take it why over don't the we suspension g- course. Yeah, we need to go see what the suspension course does for this. You got three on the tree, you know? Three on the tree. We need to help uh, sell this car. What do you guys think the headline would be or the tagline? Beeple Motors! The detente, an anti-flash white. 400 horses, 4,000 RPM max tack. Oh, here we go. Oh, yep, uh-huh, yep, 110 gallons. That's a lot of travel. Now, do those do those tanks, are they cross-feeding, or is there a switch on the dash that you've got to... Oh, I'm sure it's a lever, and it has a manual fuel pump for transfer like a B-17. <laughs> you're like we got a hole in the tank you're like <laughs> you know moving it over um yeah no i think the detente is a good car it it has some issues naturally but you will run far out of patience before you run out of gas yeah well and the anti-flash white means that you can still hit the burger stand in the post-apocalypse i know right it's a good car it's made out of car oh that's not good i love that body rigidity though oh yep there goes one of the things that was probably something but uh don't worry car's lighter now car is much lighter now it is and it appears to be none the worse for wear (laughs) people detente it ends all arguments (laughs) people detente the limiting factor of the detente is driver endurance It does not care about that. The people de ton for when Stalin tries to fuck around. People de ton, the only car with lead in the fuel and in the paint. <laughs> oh man, look at that wobble. Handled that like a champ. I yeah, almost. Kiss the wall. 
<laughs> Rigid unibody is strong. Yes, it is. I chose steel because steel is cool. It's got lead seat springs. Why? <laughs> Compress once, hold shape. All right, let's see. Let's see how this... Oh, yeah. Oh, go! Oh, man. All right. Yeah, the, the Deton is the only car that completed Le Mans without refueling. Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's not. Oh, no. The cubes. They've done some damage. All right. So far, so good. It's done everything we needed to. Yeah, uh, we'll have... a tie rod or something. It's got a little pull to the right now. I don't think that's important. I think tie rods are made up by big wheel. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, the wavies. Very important test, these wavy bits. Usually for, like, unimogs and off-road vehicles, but why not? If, you know, sports sedan, sporty sedan. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, big wheel. It's got a little extra camber now on that wheel. Yeah, don't worry. It's got a little camber for scamber. That's a motto. I don't know what it means. Oh, look at that. It's like a cat needing its bed. It's it's making biscuits. And pulling off to the right alarmingly. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Uh... All right, and oh, oh, this is the same one. Hold on. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, that's. Oh yeah, that's that's where you lose hubcaps. Did I once ever... had a set of hubcaps. What's gonna once. ask? Have you ever lost hubcaps in actuality? It's yes. mortifying. You feel embarrassed. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh god, my hubcap just left. I lost a hubcap in Detroit taking a corner, and then I parked my car, and someone relieved me of the other three, and I felt better. <laughs> no one had to see my shame of missing one hubcap. I threw a hubcap on a uh, 64 American Rambler, which, if you oh. know that car, you know that it shouldn't have enough power to throw a hubcap. Yeah, when mine left, I was driving, and I just took a corner, and I just saw it kept going the same way. <laughs> like, no, this is my turn, bro. I'll get off here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 that's what, <laughs> oh, all right. That's not good. Those radios are very, very, very heavy. Uh-oh, here we go. Yes! Oh, shit! It actually made it over the thing, kind of. It did. And the body came off the frame a little, but eh, it's really not a it's really not a problem. Boil over um, springs under there. No wonder why. Oh well, yeah, and hey, guess what? Still fixable. Still fixable. Oh yeah. Uh, this this is good. This is a good car. You know what we should do? We should see if this car can go up the wall and back down. The Tony Hawk test. Okay. You know. Yeah, it's a good car. I think that the tank engine style tack is probably helping uh, transmit uh, more power into the wheels instead of the noise. It's certainly helping to transmit to the user just how, user just how powerful this thing is. Here we go. Uh-huh. Oh, ooh, that's very nice, very desirable, and, uh, oh, <laughs> okay, all right, banana, banana, yep, all right, Beeple Day Ton, it's a car, still runs, still runs, thanks to the magic of fuel injection, all right, our next car, uh, our next car is going to be the uh, 62 Beeple Box. Um, designed for a city car and utility vehicle for fleet use. It's a two-door cop car or a mini exec car, almost a K car. 
uh, Beeple uh, realized that the detente was a failure and is a failure. They decided to go back to their austere roots. Uh, the Beeple box was also named that because uh, the the uh, designer said that it needed sharper edges, which are quite apparent in the almost tail fins. This is also the first Beeple car to have a bumper, believe it or not. The first Beeple car to have a bumper. Or it's there the ended in 67, as we all know. Yes, and, and, and it's... Uh, they, they they wanted to do some minimalistic things. This is also a car with a trailer hitch. Those radio aerials are not real, though. Um, now, the, the body is steel, but a lot of other stuff is fiberglass. It's also called the Beeple Box because it has a boxer engine. Mm. It has a boxer engine, which is loud and um, not much else. Uh, this car features things like uh, doors, um, they, which open, uh, it's, it's, it's got doors. It, it, it has the doors. Uh, you may notice that there is no external fuel filler cap. The reason for that is you need to lift the hood to put the fuel in. So, you uh-huh. know, it saves, it saves time. It saves time, indeed. You know, because because you can put in the two-stroke oil at the same time. Now let's let's go ahead and and take the Beeple box around. It's a cute car for okay people. Um, it's it's not a. <laughs> I'll listen to that purr. The listen to that. Listen, listen to that smooth engine run. Smooth. The car that trundles. It's a car. The oh man. Oh man. Beeple box. It's cheaper than a coffin. <laughs> well, depends on the coffin. It, it it not suitable for spirited driving. How dare you? Let's try this, okay? The John Belushi of cars. Oof. All right. She's a little slow on the takeoff. Let's just see what it passes Ooh. the quarter mile at. Getting up oh, there. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that sound. The whole frame rattling. Getting a lot of wind noise. Yeah, uh, we, we hadn't invented uh, weather seal or weather stripping, as you know, in the 60s. Or at least people hadn't. You won't go anywhere fast, and it's going to make a lot of smoke either way. Enjoy! (laughs) It sounds like a boat. It does. You know, it sounds like a boat. It sounds like a boat or a dirty carburetor on a Harley. Yeah, it does have that Harley sound. Beeper box, the quickest way to remove a filling. Oh man, listen to that. It does sound like a Harley kicking off. All right. Oh man, that's not good. That, yeah, it's fucking that right up. All right, so remember all that impeccable reliability you enjoyed? That's over. Oh, it looks sad now. Look, <laughs> it looks sad that you beat the front end. It looks so disappointed. It's like, I'm the meme mongs. I'm a car. God, it look, I just want to give it a hug now. <laughs> Aww. It looks so sad. It's so depressed. It's like... <laughs> oh, it also has a, you know... Um, trailer hitch. Trailer hitch. In yeah. case, you know... We'll, uh, we'll take it on something other than the test track here in a bit. Oh, we'll have to go do a, a, a drive down the road with the with with this Beeple box, you know, do a do a <laughs> test run. The Detroit oh, DOD test. Oh God. Oh man. This is the car of the future. Not a good future, just you know. <laughs> The future. car of our future, not an ideal future. 
Yeah, it's it's like the the Harambe timeline future. This is the this is that car. It'd be like ninety eight thousand dollars. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Oh hell yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh boy. Yep. That's the fastest it's ever been. Oh, it looks sadder now. How? Oh, it's so sad. It looks like it wants to go home and cry. I feel you, people box. I feel you, bud. All right, let's go. <laughs> the lights let's are broken, home. but I still work. Yeah. I've got let's no just... steering control. <laughs> yeah, you do. Open your foot and open the door and put your foot down. Oh, we hit something. I think it was a car part. Well, let's just take this car for a scrape. I want to go have smoking. a fun time. Oh, I probably something in there. It's yeah, car stuff. You know, it's just. Oh. It's going to go under the sea and hang out now. Smoking underwater is impressive. It is. Buried at sea. Not really. Nothing in nature will grow on that. <laughs> All right. So what What do you, what, you know, I think you should take this over on that uh, Whirly Doodle course over there. One last, one last experiment with the Beeple box. One of the most sure-footed cars we've made so fast, you know. That's, oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The people box has seen where it needs to go. Yeah, we'll get there. Bully Snake says if Harry Dubois was a car. <laughs> and I wouldn't give this thing a Viking funeral. Viking funerals are for people who've earned them. <laughs> hey, it tried its best, right? Oh, oh, oh God. Where's my way? You're out? fine. There it is. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. 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 Yeah. We're getting on the interstate. Oh, we're getting on the interstate. Got to do that interstate test, you know? Oh, got to choose. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. The standard BPL interstate test, as you know, uh, this is to prepare you for the St. Louis Turnpike. <laughs> Hope you get in the right lane, bud. You know, this is actually slow enough to be manageable on this course. It's like a roller coaster, really. Nope. Oh. Oh, shit. All right. Well, there's less car to manage now. No roll cage. Front, both front wheels came off again. Now yeah. it's a now it's a sports hatchback. It kind of looks like a Grand National. Especially it looks like a Grand side. National. It looks like a Grand National if I had cataracts. <laughs> it's like a Grand National assembled in the dark. <laughs> What's a Grand National like? It's got a motor and wheels. It's uh, squarish. Put a Buick symbol on it. People know what's going on. The face your friend makes when you make a suggestion that he doesn't agree with and he's not sure how to tell you. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's just that, that, that. <laughs> oh, what's the uh, word we like to use? Expression of pain. Yes. The only car featured in Canon films. Uh, all right, let's let's go to our next car. Now the, the Beeple box it. was, the Beeple box was a really okay car. It sold enough. Yeah, municipal so we, contracts. We, yeah, so we got into the '71 Beeple Go Fast, which was a pony car that was designed about ten years too late by people who don't understand the principle. However, what Beeple does understand is engines sometimes. Now, this car features 
a few interesting choices that are pony car ish, but a lot of other choices that are grandma's car. Now you may notice some of the engine parts sticking through the hood. That's not intentional. Let's just presume that that is bad fitting, which is common to the car. It has no bumper because that was seen as aerodynamic drag and it was painted very quickly at the factory poorly. Um, yeah. It is smiling. It's very, it's smiling. Uh, now you may notice a few things don't match up <laughs> and to save money, save money. It only has the one, the one single oculus of tail of tail light. The middle is the indicator. It does not indicate where you will turn or the direction thereof. It just indicates a turn is going to occur. Now you notice they brought back the uh, fuel filler side side. Uh, most of the trunk is the fuel tank. Okay. The reason is, is that this car produces not one, not two, not three or 400 horsepower, but 599 horsepower. And it does that through a 440 V8 that runs on av gas. So it runs on aviation gasoline, which means if you hit the wall with this or like have an accident fueling it at the airport, which you must, um, the explosion would be seen from orbit. But Boy, is she loud. I didn't say fast. It, it's don't worry about it. It's av gas. It's just a little av gas. I needed it for its 12 to 1 compression. <laughs> but look, man. Everybody loves a, them Dunlap tires. Yeah, Dunlap from the makers of. So, yeah, look, 12 to 1 in the fifth. Look, don't worry about it. It's it's a collection of cars, and it's a 71 car that was designed in the late 60s. Um, so now, remind, but, me, yeah. remind me when the DeLorean came out. Uh, 1982 or 3, wasn't it? I, I thought so. So this is 11 years before the DeLorean that Beeple Motors had started with the brushed aluminum bodywork, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. I'm sure that's brush loon. I'm sure that's not just spray, uh, or, you know, masking. Um, but yeah, it has the single tail lamp. Um, let's get, let's go ahead and take this car. This is designed for a rich man to take his family around. He just got his first big boy job and he's trying to show people how big dick he is. This is like a Buick Regal before the Buick Regal with a lot more horsepower. Don't worry about it. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be fine, you know. And Ukrainian tap water says your car has two hundred horsepower. Mine has two hundred psi. <laughs> All right, when we're ready. All right, let's let's see what the quarter mile looks like at speed. I'm not even gonna time it. Just punch that shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, sixty. Uh huh. Eighty. Mind this, this is an early 70s, late 60s car. Yeah, good lord. A lot of wind noise. 138. Okay, not bad. Oh, no. Oh, dear. This is going to get... No, it stopped. Excellent. I thought that would happen. I didn't presume the brakes would fade out and the wheels would lock out. But, you know, it it is perfectly a car. So let's, let's go take it through. Uh, let's just see top speed, put it in that direction as hard as it'll go. Oh yeah. Air cooling the front oh. brakes here. Oh, you're going to need to. Now it is limited by its sheer limit of gears, but it'll do a sweet 140. Yeah, I mean, Man, listen to that wind noise. That's faster than the the police Plymouth in the Michigan trials, sixty nine. Yep. My spine, a memoir by Depp. <laughs> now I think that the fact the tire went all the way explode. Never mind. No, it, it, we people will forget that. And uh, all right, yeah, banana. Good car, good car. All right, let's let's take it on the. Um, handling tests i think i think that would be uh yeah give me a second it wants to do donuts oh of course if this car were for sale on craigslist they would have a picture of the right hand side and say needs work <laughs> yeah, I, you're not wrong. yeah it'd be like be like four thousand no low ballers i know what i got all right, look, it's, it's fine. Now let's see how this thing handles because this is a family car for someone of substance, like a banker or someone who made some, you know, big or advancements financial in their life. decisions. 
right. Trying to find my boy. The uh there it is. Oh god, be careful. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll take it on the squares test. Ah, the squares. Let's see if this square can oh no. Nope, nope. Okay, those are Tyra and those are gone. Yep, yep. Okay. And not 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 for the not for the squares. Uh yeah. All right. All right. It, no, no. I don't. I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna go. It's. It'll be fine. All right. Yeah. 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 Let's try this again. It's fine. Yeah. Tell Lotus they're chumps. <laughs> this guy. Tell Lotus they're chumps. They're a bunch of chumps at Lotus. All right. Let's punch it. Let's see what we got. Oh. Sounds like wait. The people go fast. Flat roads only. <laughs> the people go fast. No turning. The manual says do not turn above 60. Oh god, why? Nope, that's not gonna happen. Alright. Uh huh. Oh, it's smiling. Look at that. Remember to smile. That's the Beeple uh, longest standing motto is remember to smile. Yeah. Straight as an arrow, this car. <laughs> the Beeple go fast because asshole was trademarked. <laughs> All right. So we got <sighs> we got to do the Tony Hawk test. Oh yeah, we got to see if this thing will go up and down. We got to see if we can just you know Tony Hawk this thing do a. Do a grind or whatever they call it. Here we go. Yep. Oh man, this is where you feel regret. Oh shit, yeah. Oh yep, that'll happen. Would have been fine if not for that rear tire. Remember to smile. Look how happy he is. <laughs> All right. Time that wants to, to make left hand turns again. Don't worry about it. I'd say I'd say let's just uh, we we could uh, try to see if we could make it go over one of those big hills or loops and see what air we get. You know what I mean? Still smiling, and you didn't entirely die. You know, I I think that's reasonable. All right, we Mr. got Train. this. Look, Mister Train. What are we thinking then? Let's see if we can't get this thing to jump. We need Maybe ourselves take it uh, off some sweet jumps. Yeah, man. Let's go take this on some sweet jumps. <laughs> Remember when I was a kid, people used to have pumps on their bike so you could, you know, ride on the back. Yeah. And kids who had that thought they were fucking cool, and they'd wear those Jinko jeans, and then they'd eat ass. And they're like, "I only ride the back of my friend's bike because I'm cool." No, you're not. See, it was for for us. Maybe this was a Kansas thing, but it was uh, if you had pegs on your bicycle, people would stand yeah. on them. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. The slang they were like, "I got pumps for jumps and stuff like that." And nah. yeah, no, we weren't cool enough to have slang for it. It didn't help these people be cool either. It just it just concealed their incompetence. Holy shit! This is metal. Now, see, this is a metal album right here. It just, the subtext should say trouble. <laughs> oh, shit, yes. Well, we I'd the say right the body up, I think that would have still driven. I think that would have still driven just fine. Banana. All right, let's, uh, I think we should probably get the next Beeple car out. We've got, we've got another one. Um, it's, it's something that is, is going to require some explaining. It's called the Beeple rebate. The Beeple rebate is a car. It is a, um, in the loosest sense of the term, it, it's, it's where car overlaps like motorized, uh, wheelbarrows. You know what I mean? Um, the Beeple rebate is, is a car. And it is designed to be the exact size of a lower income tax rebate. Now, the engine may not be sounding great, and that's fine. Don't worry about it. I, I didn't know it would do that. But hey, 
So you'll notice a few things. Um, <laughs> it has a fuel filler cap on the hood. Uh, as the safety rating of go fuck yourself. It's made out of plastic. Um, I think we should take this car out. This sounds good. That's an engine. Don't look at it any further. It's an engine. Trust me. It, it also has now turn signals, but still keeping the single, you know, uh, thing. And it's, it's a very car. <laughs> it is. It, don't worry that it was making horrible noise. It, it is made out of the same quality material as you would expect out of a hotel bathroom. <laughs> I, I don't think that's terrible to say, but it is so what, it is as safe as putting your life in Delta Airlines' hands. Let's have a good one. <laughs> made all right, with so. all the care of the 737 Max. It is not a good car. It is, you know, you sent me the picture of that toy car you had yeah. as a kid. The little, you know, the, the, the play school toy car that you get in, you know that everyone can see in their head right now. It's like that, but for adults, uh, the gas filler cap on the hood is nice. And the grill is from a barbecue grill. Um, and going back to the roots of the company. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah. It looks yes, like, indeed. it looks like the little tykes version of a Suzuki samurai. It was kind of what I was going for. I made the bumpers way more than Euro bumpers because I thought it would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it, it works. All right. Let's, uh, all right. Yeah, let's. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that's that's impressive, honestly, so far. It has a Habsburg chin and a Habsburg fate. I'll listen to that wind noise. That's how you know you're motoring, huh? Ninety nines, it's top out. Yeah, I governed it. Oh, see, that's why I governed it at that. Turning is kind of a problem for this vehicle. Got the old Jeep, uh, Jeep layover problem. It wants to take a nap. It's seepy. It need nap nap. Yeah, it's it's a Power Wheels cheap safari. Look at that body lean. Oh well, yeah, the it, look. Most of that lift is because it will sink down to the ground as soon as any normal sized person gets in it. <laughs> it also, in the designer, only has one seat right in the middle. All right, I bet this right. thing demolishes the squares. I bet this thing will do fine on the squares. I think this thing could take it. I think this thing is is a tough car with a lot of chutzpah. Oh shit, that's oh no. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, see it's got enough travel to handle that. <laughs> Uses that Oregon Trail design principle. Yeah. Oh see, and it handles the wavies just fine. This thing's practically a Unimog. <laughs> Practically, yeah. You don't need portal axles and gears for that. You you just you just unimog it up. Oh oh. <laughs> no, stop doing that. All right, Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk. Oh, that's not Full good. Full suspension travel. That's some impressive air, actually. <laughs> All right, and good. Good. Oh, not so good. Not so good, that one. All right, uh, let's see if I we can, can get, get it, it back. To... Oh, <laughs> almost. Almost. Go get your wheel. Oh, damn. Come here, little well. buddy. <laughs> Probably only has a one center nut like a F1 car, you know, where it's just that one. Dude. <laughs> Quit bullying your tire. It has better <laughs> things to do than like drive yeah, your car. Clearly. All right. What if what if we uh, what if we took it to a high speed impact test? Just see see what it does. You know, don't turn. Remember, turning is danger. Uh, see. <laughs> wow. That is that is like break dancing. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Let's see what this thing can do. Let's do a let's do a stress test. 
perfection. For some reason, it stopped accelerating there. It just does that. It's gas starved. You probably forgot to put in the two stroke oil. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So safety factor of seven. I'm going to I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, seven. Oh, it's another boxer engine. Yeah. Somebody call service truck. Because that thing is fucked. <laughs> I, I, yeah, well, uh, easier to park now. Easier to park. Uh, I bet if you, you know. go full speed into a three-inch curb, the whole top of the car keeps going like a Looney Tunes skit. Probably. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of body work. All you have to do is uh, open up the little nipple on the back and blow in, and it'll just, you know, inflate back to its shape. I love that you That's can roll impressive. this. And, yeah. Hey, man, you want to see my car break dance? You just, like, fucking back reverse it four miles an hour and the car eats ass it just goes over just ass over tits at four miles an hour in reverse with the wheel over what if that picked off more than tuner culture <laughs> it's great you know dancing like cars. yeah dancing cars you're like somebody's got their car and it's doing the little dance to music with hydraulics you're like that's Hold nothing on. i got a beep a rebate no 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 don't no don't do it i think i can get it to do a handstand please don't say that it's like dressage <laughs> Uh huh. That's not All what right. I had in mind. It's close enough. Wow. Why? Why does this car keep doing that? This thing is very safe. Boop. Turning is dangerous. But flipping is apparently easy. Just throw it in reverse and turn the wheel over and touch the gas. <laughs> All right, we're going for distance. I'm not gonna, saying speed. We're gonna hit our top speed and then I'm going to hit all the brakes. Okay, I'm let's gonna see, see what if happens. I can get it to do a reverse wheelie. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that is amazing. Imagine seeing that on the fucking highway. Imagine seeing that on the highway. It just goes along and does a full flip and just keeps going. This car is accidentally really cool. Not intentionally cool. I did not know it would do that, and I did not expect to pull that off so flawlessly. Yeah, Tippy Truck Jr. is fantastic. <laughs> Good lord. And with that... 50 degree approach angle it handles terrain uh, like this no problem huh I guess <laughs> this is a vehicle that should come with a dental plan <laughs> now with padded dash oh I'm well, not sure what that was but it took my axle <laughs> you don't need it Wow. All right, let's bring out our next Beeple vehicle before we change uh, scenes. Yeah, and, yeah. And we, and we try to see how these things handle some of our worst and most uh, horrible things, like the tunnel. the tunnel. The tunnel. The tunnel. Don't worry about that thing's sound. It's got the devil in it. <laughs> and not a fun one. Um, the, ne the next one is the car that destroyed the company, the Beeple Wingman. Someone said more wings, um, and they did that. Now, you might ask why it has as many wings as, like, a Schick Razor. Um, the 90s were weird. Well, yeah, it also needs that much downforce. Now, uh, this, this car has no turbos. 
No turbos whatsoever. No turbos are in this car. It is a mid-engine car. I, I played with the engine a little bit, and I said, I need more power, but I don't want to do turbos, but I do want to do a V12. So I said, how do I squeeze all the power and known demand out of a V12? And the answer, my friends, is nitromethane. It needs that many exhausts. The exhaust system is plumbed very badly. It is it is mostly lies. What is but what this is this is, off the driver's side bumper? It's part of the exhaust system. Don't <laughs> don't look at it. It's not supposed to look like that. The game glitched out, but we're just gonna say that, you know, they didn't know what they were doing and whatever. But hey, it it has oh, it dude. has I, I do appreciate the uh forward-facing rectangular lights that's an interesting yeah, effect it is it's so you can sneak up on people and sideswipe them um so this car is inspired by my time in carmageddon uh but it runs on nitromethane um which is the fuel of choice when you approach its governed speed and uh the game did math on this and it crashed beam or it crashed automation twice making this engine just the engine the game insists this engine will crank out 2,000 horsepower, but better yet, attached to the transmission, it will do 400 miles an hour. <laughs> so so it's, it's, it's a nitromethane-fueled death machine, more or less. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's, it's faster than some planes. So X. let's go ahead and see what this thing does. Text. Is this that rumored attempt by BPL Motors to enter the passenger airline market? Well, yes, but without getting a license for, uh, you know, airlines. It's it's fine. Everyone needs to witness shiny and chrome. Oh, God. <laughs> it even moved out of the garage really quickly. It startled me when they started. It was just, ah, and it was like, ah. Um, this thing will tack very high. I doubt you'll get through the gear. Still I, better I think... than Delta. I bet it's just a machine to turn uh, transmission gears into confetti. It's going to turn them into powder and smoke, baby. All right, let's see what a quarter mile looks like at speed. All right, when you're ready. Floor it. Oh, oh good lord. Yeah. Yes. Power. All right, let's take the quarter mile at 204. Nice. <laughs> it's still got gears. Keep feeding it. Uh huh. All right. Oh, shit. All right. You, you, oh, yeah, a little bit more compact now. The tires exploded. <laughs> now, that's, that's a car so fast you could drive it up your own ass. That is, that is a quick one right there. All right. I, I think that's that's a let's see what it does uh maybe in some of the uh let's try that tony hawk test oh god yeah be careful oh the tires exploded already well it's because it's a lot of power you know it's not really important pretty good traction it's amazing what you can do with horsepower Huh? Yep. Oh no. Here we go. Hubris. <laughs> no matter what, it seems like this car needs to be flatter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> that nitromethane cooking off is actually quite toxic. So, let's let's see what else. No, we, why the, is the it, tires it, start like that? It's all right. Fine. It's it's challenge mode. I think the game just freaks out that this car is the devil. But don't worry about it. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't worry about it. I think we just need to, you know, just this. Yeah. Let's let's drive it over some of this and see what happens. Right. It's it's more than enough car. Everything is fine. Yeah. Everything's OK. Oh, yeah. Handles that like a champ backfiring out of alternating. Uh, yeah. OK. Yep. Oh man, that is that is some. This car is a hundred percent car. I tell you that much. Man, it's hard to tell what you're driving. It's so quiet. <laughs> right, <laughs> Hold on. Rides like a Cadillac. <laughs> yeah. 
This car needs to go through a car wash using nothing but holy water. <laughs> this car sounds like a dog attack. It rides like a Jado. Uh, it does silence to scream. It seems to be fast enough that it just glides over any minor stuff. Yeah, you know, it's like it's it's that wing and ground effect. It's like a it's it's a it's a ground effect vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the road, Beeple Motors. All right, pour it on. I'm trying to find the straightest. See if we can get to its top speed. Hypothetical top speed. More gears? Come on. Pour it on. Stand on it. 270. 280. 290. 300. 305. 310. Got another gear. <laughs> All right, looks like it might get to maybe 320. I think it's still got more in it. It's just gonna it take probably a long does. time to get there. All right, stomp on the brake, see what happens. <laughs> oh, the brake fade. Look, it's like baking metal. <laughs> 2400 degrees. <laughs> All right, let's drive it back the other way. Yeah, let's drive it back the other way and just hit something. Okay. First thing you see. All right. I'm aiming for the big mountain. Yeah, them brakes cool really quick. <laughs> so imagine you're a cop and you see that going by. It fades out before the fucking camera can do anything. Yeah, the camera can't chase it. F1 sucks. They should drive these. All right, let's see what 320 miles an hour versus a thing looks like. Oh, yeah. The power of the pyramid, baby. No. no. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, boy. I hit the, I hit the wrong button. It doesn't matter. We're in Jesus' hands now. Oh, God. Well, you know, still works. Hong Kong. There goes a wing. Yeah, I think I think that it's it's a good car. We should take this car over to the tunnel. I apologize. I hit the wrong button there, guys. It's okay. I think that a 320 mile an hour car is decent. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm trying to remember. Tunnel is Utah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I think you have to, well, I mean, look, the tunnel has been our nemesis for a long time, right? I'll be finding pieces of that car across five zip codes. I I think that that is a car that will just stick to whatever drives over it for the next 20 years. I think that car will be something that they pull out of tires 20 years from now on that track. And they're like, the fuck was that? And they'll be like, oh, man, you should have seen the beep of wingman. A 320 mile an hour screaming meth machine. Let's see MSRP and Goob. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. Man in black, that tunnel. Show it who's boss. Well, all right. Well, well take, you know what? We'll we should take the pickup truck to get over there. I say, I say, take the pickup truck to get over there, and just show that you can take the tunnel in a normal car. You know, a car that possesses um, normal amounts of power, 
and and normal amounts of power to weight ratio and normal amounts of you know handling a suspension god as somebody who owned a ford explorer this view is very yeah like i i've huh. driven this truck be careful where you look while we're driving remember tunnel approaches we're fine I know, but you keep looking around and you're like, oh, wrong side of the road. Static image in the rear view. All right. The tunnel is up there here. There it is. Yeah. Now, as we've seen, you know, this thing can, this thing can tunnel quite well, or probably could. So let's let's give it the tunnel, give it the full speed, and get us in there. All right. We're in the fast lane because this truck can presumably achieve speeds that would justify the fast lane. A little bit of drift there, tail sliding out. That's quite nice. Oh, oh. We're fine. We got we got a little bit of the king of the hill scrape down the side. Yeah, that's normal. Usually that's where you put a two-tone over it. You know, you go down to Earl Shive and they're like, 99 cents a coat. Yeah. Go get yourself some of the uh, wood grain stickers for when you put cigarette burns in your table. Just run yeah. it down the side. You got a woody now. You got a Woody. All right, 104 miles an hour. In, in an F-150? Yeah. That's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. You scraped the side of the truck. Oh! All right, here we go. Yeah, last turn. This is not going to have the oomph for this. Nope. Oh, yeah, that door's open now. $18,000. No low ballers. I know what I got. Need some work. Spare parts included. Hey, so it made it out of the tunnel. Yep, still yeah, runs. Still runs, made it out of the tunnel. Now let's take some of our Beeple vehicles through here and see how they perform. You know, let's let's start off with the Ramblomatic. The Beeple Ramblomatic. Oh, and happy birthday, Ashura. Uh... Happy, happy near independence birthday. Your birthday is almost America's. It's how, it's how you know. It's how you know. They've added some fun looking cars to this since I last played it. Too bad we're driving these ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like that pin scour? I bet that's a ton of fun. All right. Now, for those who didn't see, the uh, Beeple Ramblomatic post war austerity car. 49, and, right? Uh, no, this is the box. This is the Beeple box, not the Ramblomatic. Oh, yeah, that's my bad. They look so similar. They look so similar. Generations apart. But this one returned to the company's original idea. Thank which you was, for catching that. No, I, I am the designer. If I didn't, I'd be an idiot. Not design. My design is incompetence. It, I am very bad at that. There uh, we go. But, this is the Ramblomatic. All right. The, yeah, the, the Ramblomatic. It is it is a post-war austerity car. It also has room What's a to inf... Button? I wouldn't know, and I wouldn't trust those to be real. I'm pretty sure those Can are stickers. G? No. Oh, God. Oh. What did I just do? Okay. I, I don't know. Random buttons do things. I am now confused. I'm scared. Long jump tunnel. What? Okay. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, let's see if this thing can navigate the Tungle. All right. Okay. The Beeple Ramblomatic. I did turn my headlights on. What button did I press? I don't know. I think we should get but over into the now. slow lane. Someone said N for headlights. Shit, yeah, huh. N for no N headlights. For, <laughs> in for no dark. <laughs> no dark, no like. So hold on. Outside scary. 
Oh god, you've got headlights on the rear as well. Well, it's so you can see where you're going. This car goes the same speed forward and reverse. It it does with that. Now, I love that this thing is still a handful going through the tunnel. Yeah, even at 23 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Set the cruise control. Now I can sit back and relax. <laughs> sit back and relax like driving a fishing boat. <laughs> Sodium vapor I'm... headlights. Listen to the whistle. Oh, I don't know why it's kicking off the accelerator like that. It must not like being popped out for too long. Yeah, it probably has vapor lock. <laughs> <laughs> People are emblematic. Pride of our Stotska. <laughs> you said this is a post-war austerity car. Are we talking World <laughs> War One or the Civil War? Remains to be seen. Yeah. Well, I mean, you figure what was the nature of roads in most of America at the time this was made? 49? You're talking gravel? 25 was still fast. Yeah? For losers. No, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's fast enough. You know, I bet it does great towing as well. I think we should test that. On the return trip through the tunnel. <laughs> You know, <laughs> the people ramblematic better than legs. <laughs> Man, this is a car to have very awkward conversations in. Yep. You're not you're not gonna get anywhere fast, so you're just driving with somebody, and they're like, and you know you're what? Arguing about where you're gonna go eat. Because they yeah. don't want to make a decision, and you don't want to make a decision. Right. And so you're both putting it off, your stomach's making noise, and then one of you gets hangry and says something like, I once ate a bunch of cigarette butts in college. And you're like, why? <laughs> and you just look at them, and they'll never, you know, you'll never think about them the, the same. You remember things like, you know, back when I was in junior high, there was this kid that if you said anything remotely funny, I mean, remotely like non sequitur or funny, the, the, the guy would just laugh so hard he'd throw up. Yeah. So he would sit at your table and somebody would just say something random and he would like blow milk out his nose and start laughing so hard he would have to start puking. And it was always like terrible. So if he came and sat at your table, you know you were not going to eat that day. I'm not sure if there is a disease that makes everything like manically funny but we were not that funny in junior high i mean it was like you know the kids in south park you're you're not gonna sit there and be like say something that is just bone bitingly knee slappingly funny just random stuff like oh that lady has a big face and the rest of her body isn't as big so it looks like a bobblehead and she just like ah, ah, and you're like oh my god Unless it was like a, a power move to make the rest of us, like, fear them. In which case, mission accomplished. Does anybody know the hazard button? Yeah, driving it. It's called the ignition. The people ramblomatic. Still not as fast as a stripper in heels. No, they're quick. They are. Uh, Tex, Battlezone remasters are on sale, and some base guy remade the Truman tank from the cover art back to the 98 Redux game. Nice. Oh, huh, cool. I'll have to take a look into that at some point. I sadly don't have a lot of time to play video games. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have some time in my week to dedicate to stuff like this, but this is about all I've been playing games other than, like, Battle Bit. I've actually been playing quite a bit of Battle Bit. I've been sneaking that in here and there when I can. That's an easy pick up and have fun with. But I'll keep that in mind. I like how this straight gives you time to read the messages, Kev. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the button for hazards is slash, also known as question mark. There we go. Yep, there we go. Well, it's so slow that it comes with jazz, noir music, and a bottle of Buffalo Trace. 
There she was. She walked into my office with a pair of 38s. She also had a gun. People right. ramblematic, but when you can't afford a car that might get stolen. Yeah, that's true. All right. That's true. So, we'll leave the hazards on. I think those are prudent. Uh, All right. Let's see if it'll pull something. Yeah, let's you give know. it... Let's give it a... Um, what do you we'll think? We'll move it a couch. I think a couch is about what that thing can handle. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you can handle a couch. Uh, some Control plus tab to switch a vehicle. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Let's, let's back up and then, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, take our couch for a, a trip. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's just back it up. Oh, careful. Uh, oh, oh, almost through the body work. Okay. A little bit. A little, oh, oh, all right. That's, uh, no, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, uh -huh. Oh, all right. That's when you just yeah. lift it on. There we go. And, uh, hey, I... No, you don't, you don't need tra- Oh, God. Just add some traffic in. Sure, why not? Make this a challenge. Yeah, yeah, no. Let's be is, a nuisance. This is going to be the taking, you know, your, your daughter's moving out to college. you got to give her her couch. I see. The I one see. she was conceived on. It's your last <laughs> act as your father. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if it's faster when going. What's funny is in in less than two months, I will be 39 years old. Um, and I, I did, uh, when, when I was 18 years old, I did a uh, bit of math and I realized, you know, doing, doing studying autistic things like war and stuff. Uh, I was conceived during Able Archer 83. My parents didn't have a lot of hope for the future. <laughs> They're like, well, this is it. Oh, wow. All right. Still does 23. Yeah, it still does 23. And uh, all the traffic has escaped us. Well, so far. I, I'm sure that someone's going to try to get past us. Wait, is the product the couch or the thing pulling it? <laughs> Don't worry about it. The people... people. Go ahead. The people ramblematic. When you need to move the couch your daughter was conceived on to take it to college so she can begin a new generation of mistake. At least I'm not that guy. Wow. Somebody fucked up. It wasn't you. You chose the people ramblematic. <laughs> when you need to brag, you can redline your engine, but on a budget. <laughs> redline at 2,000 RPM. being overtaken i don't know no nope. but i'm willing to bet that sooner or later that's gonna happen oh 22 up the hill it sacrifices a mile an hour for safety let's see if that means we get 24 downhill i should probably stay in my lane all right we are going to successfully take the couch to the tunnel I don't think we should take it through the tunnel. We don't have another four hours. Yeah, exactly. This, this, the, the, you know what? Just drive it off a cliff. I, I think people should see that. Let's, let's see this go wrong. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, losing a cushion there. Good luck. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. You can do it. No, you cannot, because no. that is a suspension coming through the front of it. I think that's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. Couch doesn't make it. Couch doesn't make it. All right. I, I think we need to take the next vehicle through and let's do the uh, the Beeple Detente. I, I think that that is a, a great vehicle. A great vehicle for the tunnel test. That is the first Beeple car to have anti-flash white. Uh, anti-flash white. 
Yeah, the Detal. Detal. Let's see what happens. What happens if you tow a couch at 320? We didn't put a ball on that one. It's we're not Next time forward thinkers. Next time I will. All right, pull a J and uh, go through that tunnel. There we go. Fuck yeah. That's what American muscle looks like, going sideways and out of control. Remember, 110 gallons of gas reside in the fins. In the so fins. every accident becomes the last one. Oh, that was fast. Banana. You're gonna Austin Powers this thing. Oh, careful. That spark could be, uh, you know, up. Well, shorter now. Only marginally. Yeah. I do appreciate the light coming through the fender now. It's a lighted fender. It's a feature. What a car. What a car. Oh, yeah. On the precipice of danger. Can you imagine if this was a rental car? <laughs> it's like a battleship. The fuel helps absorb impacts. Shake hands with danger. What a car. The fine tradition of the rear headlights. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a three-point turn proves fatal. All right, here we go. Rental cars are the fastest cars on the highway. What is this car fueled by? Uh, this one runs on, uh, I believe, uh, leaded 103 octane. Av gas. No, no, no. Av gas would be a little oh higher, I think. Av gas is in another car. Ah, uh, okay. For some reason, I thought this was the surplus av gas car. Oh boy, here we go. Oh. We made the tunnel. It made the tunnel. Okay. It made well, the tunnel. You're going to go kill John Marston down here. All right. Nice. All right. I, I think I think she made it. I think we can get our next vic I mean car. Uh, which is going to thing. Damn. Let's get the uh, 62 Beeple box and uh let's let's take that for a spin. Um the Beeple box as you know was uh actually you kind of liked it. It it's it's hard to roll over. Austerity made manifest. Yeah, it it looks like the car that uh Mr. Incredible drove when he was still fat. Yeah. All right, let's uh I, this car also can tow. Oh man, listen to that mighty mighty boat engine. All right. Sounds like a Harley, but not like a well-tuned one. Oh, listen to that in the tunnel. Excited for the my beeple. little yellow buddy. Oh yeah, you yeah. and me both. The Beeple Box. Made with Beeple people. It's actually doing pretty well so far. Like a Yanmar 40 horsepower? Yes it is. But it sounds much cooler. I spent arguably more uh, more time tuning the exhaust than I did the rest of it. <laughs> By people for people. At least it can possibly do the speed limit. Yeah, we are we are two miles an hour over the speed limit now, on an uh, on an interstate. AMC Matador 2.0, the flying brick. It's a little bit squirrely at at speed here. The Beeple Box, 42 hectares per liter of kerosene. I cannot wait till they put diesel engines in automation. Yeah. I will make a whole shitload of cars that just go... <laughs> and you'll be like, what is this? And I'll be like, I got the idea from a new boat. For a second, I thought the, the headlights were making it slower. The beeple box. It has wheels. 
<laughs> now has one less. It would have made that one, it didn't, because I fucked up at the end there. I gave a little too much break. All right, let's see if it'll do it with a, you know, couch. The couch test. Nothing says love like the couch that love was made on. <laughs> I'm gonna Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's back up. Not this. Let's take a motor home. The kid's off to college. Yeah, you got to take that travel trailer. The kid's off to college. Now it's time to go enjoy the great outdoors. It is. It is. You're right. Yeah. Control tab. There you go. <laughs> Beeple box, the official car of the Arstotska Secret Service. Ass. <laughs> Oh, that's a yeah. good name for it. You hear the secret police coming. All right, let's hook it up. We are attached. All righty. I think we can do this. I think we have that ability. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted. Now we're on the wrong side of the highway. We're going to have to merge over. Yeah, we got to merge over. We had to pull over to do a bump. So let's <laughs> let's uh let's do the beeple box and take it down the road. Now, once uh once it loads and figures out what's going on, it's got to think about it. You told the AI to do like 85 things. We'll so go it's, ahead it's and gotta... we'll hit the hazards, the patented don't hit me buttons. That always works. Oh, man. Listen to that TikTok. Back in my day, TikTok meant your hazards were on. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh, God, already? Oh, man, they're on to you. Floor it. It's the boring. coppers are on to you. You can do it. Yes. Gun it. How, how did they know I've got oranges in the camper? Oh, God. Everybody's coming. Oh, God. Wow. Fuck that guy. I'm stuck. Are they coming after me? Maybe not. Maybe we just prematurely floored it. Um, you know? Maybe we just did that. Maybe we we prematurely... But, oh, no, I, uh -oh. I think they want me. Yep. Well, that guy's going to have to talk to his sergeant on why he drove a $80,000 police vehicle into a $400 car. I, I wish I could tell you the number of times I watched that happen. Here we go. Uh, hey, cops zero, people box one. And the people box is actually pretty bitchin' when you think about it. The yeah. bitchin' people box, yeah. Oh, man. They're like, there's that old guy again. And he's like, see you later, you sons of bitches. I haven't driven this far since I knocked off that bank. Al Capone's going to get his blood money today, boys. Good luck, suckers. Your car runs with ethanol. Mine uses lead. Uh, oh, hell yeah. 
We are legitimately running from the police. I cannot believe this car is doing it. <laughs> Not today, boys. Oh, maybe today. Holy shit. You spun him out. Pit maneuvers don't work on me. I don't know what they mean. Time to get away. Don't play do, 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 ba, do. Yeah. <laughs> don't hate the game, hate the player. That's me. I'm the Harlem Globetrotters of driving. <laughs> I am the Night Rider. I am the fuel injected suicide machine. <laughs> I'm the Ayatollah of rock and roll. Uh. Is it just the same three cops over and over again? You can't stop me. Are, are they just going to keep parking in front of me or are they actually going to chase me? I'm shiny and chrome. I'm fast as fuck, boys. I didn't even spill my coffee. I can't believe this is working. They're like trying to set up a dragnet and wondering what's going on as you just scoot off at 40. All right, yeah. here we go. I... You, got, you guys okay? Come on. You got this. No. <laughs> okay. So they actually you got this. I'm gonna use this little trick called driving away at a modest pace. Here I go. <laughs> you just bonk the door so much they can't like Wrong way you know. speeding, racing, police collision, traffic collision. I can now drive away. They caught All right. me. All right, well, that's the Beeple Box. Beeple Box is a solid getaway car, just because it's a piece of shit. Once All right, it, now once it sheds its trailer. Now, let's get the Beeple Go Fast. Uh, that's the pony car that has almost 600 horsepower. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 70s. Uh, yeah, yeah, 70s. Good old rectangles. That's what that car is made out of, kind of. Oh, the traffic didn't go away. That's fine. This thing is not going to do well. Yep. That's what I thought. Yep. All right. Two. Yeah. Just help help yourself to his brakes. All right. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, it's like a rodeo, you know? It's like eight seconds of just power and then permanent spinal injury. Well done. Seems like the police know that you're having fun in here. It really does, doesn't it? I love how you just stomp on the gas and it's like... <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> yep. All right. Gary's a little compromised. I don't think that break is actually. Well, that cop's dead. <laughs> Good job. Okay, there goes that wheel. You didn't need it. It was holding you back, anyways. I don't think that wheel's actually 32 degrees Fahrenheit. No. Just taking your car for a scrape, as you can see. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. Nope. Oh boy. Yep, that's getting exciting. Places to go, people to see. Yeah, I gotta make money.
It's the 1970s Yugoslavian idea of a pony car. <laughs> I'd say that this is not going to make the tunnel. Cops or no? Uh, let's 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 try let's try uh, the people rebate. Let's let people see everyone's favorite boy of the cars we made. The people rebate, which can tow things, maybe. I think it can. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried about it, but I think that there's room for experimentation. Uh, it is, it is bouncy. It has no, oh, no. trailer hitch. Don't worry. It, let's see if it can keep away from the police. I also think that with this suspension, it would not, it would not tow anything. I think it would bottom out and then it would pull the rear of the vehicle apart like hot bread. Well, that's the end of that. At speed, it does not like to turn. It doesn't like turns straight. Like, if you remember, this is the one that can do a headstand. Yeah, I remember. Police, All right. Police want to talk with me now. No, they're just jealous. Their cars can't do headstands. Don't worry about that body work altogether. It's probably like $40 with a Krylon. You can always run from by going off the road. Perhaps once you get out of the ton. Wow. All right. I think you've welded. Oh, no, never mind. Cops came and helped. Thanks, officer. Engine broken. Yeah, I think the cops just want to race you. I think you lose. Yeah. I, I think you lose. What what if we took this off road? It's not gonna make the tunnel with the police, but what if we just took this off road? We get the cops to chase us, and then we go off road, right? Yeah. Let's get off road. They can't stop us. This is this is a little bouncy guy. Yeah, that's $122 of damage. I mean that's a lot of damage. Most of it in labor. <laughs> Remember, they call this thing the rebate because it's a tax rebate worth of car. <laughs> that was horrifying. I held my breath. I thought it was just going to end the sky. You know, oh, good. No. Okay. Now we're getting exciting. Oh, yes. Why is this working? Oh, never mind. It broke like a dropped Lego set. <laughs> yeah, the engine is in the passenger seat. The passenger is in the stratosphere. Good Lord. <laughs> I think the cops are just showing up and they're like, uh, yeah, I'm going to need a uh, morgue unit out here. Uh, yeah, and the shop back, please. <laughs> that was a perfect ending to that. I kept it for I... so long. I kept it going. You did your part. Uh, now, I, I think if we just start, you know, what what about its off-roading uh, pedigree? Yeah, Since it does have all that ground... Oh, oh clearance. <laughs> uh, what? They saw you driving that, and they know it's not road legal. They're like, that's a kit car. That's a go-kart. All right, they're on you. Here we go. Oh, Buford T. Justice is coming after the Duke boys. Oh, boy. All right, that's the most realistic thing I've seen in this game. It's somebody in a little hatchback that is on a road they have no business being on. Pretty Let's well see if the actually. see if the coppers can stop you. Pull me over now, Johnny Law. You can't, cause I got a beeper rebate. It's two stroke. You put the oil and the gas in the same hole. <laughs> two strokes for more folks. That sounds like a really bad porno name. It's fairly short. Giggity. So let's keep going. 
Yeah. It's not gonna flip yet. It it flips when you don't expect it to. Like a soft turn or hitting the brakes. <laughs> or going into reverse while turning. Or going into reverse at all. It's two stroke. You need to suffer two strokes to think this was a sound investment. <laughs> Well, there she is. This is, uh, if you've ever been off-roading and you've seen Jeeps just out in the woods burnt down, this is what happens, is the cops chase them, they go somewhere, they take what they wanted out of the vehicle, and they torch it. You know, this car will burn itself. I lost the it cops, just will. though. You did, because they're not going to chase you off-road. Those brambles, they might get their uniform caught. They'll tear their pants, you know? It, it's just not a pleasant car to drive until it's really fun. That's a pretty fun car to drive. All right, up next is... We are on to the Wingman, aren't we? The, yeah, all right. This is the Beeple Wingman. This runs on nitromethane. It will do 320 miles an hour, as we found. So, yeah. It goes from silent to loud. Exhibition of speed, right. time to go. All right, here we go. Oh, God. All right, so look, we shed the unnecessary wings. And the wheel. Didn't need that. Didn't need it. Oh, that sounds angry. Mid-engine means I can have a lot of front-end collisions without losing anything. Except well, another that's wheel. A, you don't need them wheels. Floor it. Oh, it's angry now. Oh, yeah. It's like a cat. You try to give a bath. Well, funeral. All right. That guy's going home in a box. That guy's neck is in another county. That's a pleasant sound. Yep, we're done. Uh -huh. You know what? Try it again. I bet we could do it. I, I bet, I bet, I bet we could do it if we just got a running start. <laughs> I'm sure we could do it. You think that's what the problem was? I do. Oh, God. Oh, good Lord. Oh, good Jesus. Okay, we got this. We got this. Hold on for dear life. Put your weight on it. Yes. Keep going. Ridge Racer. All right, come on. This is like F-Zero. If F-Zero did a lot of math. You don't need tires where we're going. Guardrail. Oh, yeah. It's all sound, baby. Natural methane. Even the fumes are dangerous. Well, that guy's dead. It's always charger cotton. I think you welded these cars together. <laughs> it counts that as captured. I... It says that this cop caught me. He's not trying to unwitch himself from my vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, they're arrested. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna go well. Oh, now we're going for a riot, officer. Hey, it's more stable now. 
Oh, that'll fix it, maybe. All right. When you got enough horsepower to pull a cop that you've rammed into in reverse. The wingman. 70 miles an hour. 70 miles an hour in reverse welded to a cop car. This car will make the tunnel. We're going to make the tunnel, boys and girls. One way or another, we're making the tunnel. We're making that tunnel. We're using Oregon Trail logic. Uh-oh, looks like we're leaving your jurisdiction. <laughs> oh, man, I imagine how hot that gearbox is. It doesn't seem to stop it much. All right. He's going for a ride today. Almost free. Almost free. <laughs> a brave person trying to get between me and the wall. You know, I'm going to say this. If I saw this happening in the tunnel, like, on the way home or whatever, I'd be like, all right. I can, I can, I can deal with that. This isn't the worst I've seen on the highway. We're almost there. God damn it. Almost there. It's like five cars hiding in the smoke. As you know, your rear brake should be well over 700 <laughs> degrees. Well, one of them. <laughs> the one that's still functional. Gotta love that. Oh, almost. Yep, we're joined together now, officer. In life or death, friend, I will drag you to glory and greatness. Yeah, imagine what the guy in dispatch hears when the cop tries to call this in. Uh, yeah, this is Unit 7, uh, showing still connected to vehicle in transit. Pursuit is still on. Can't get out of my car. Officer needs assistance. <laughs> I'm married to that car now, huh? This is what you probably expected out of car work today. <laughs> almost. There it is. We've almost made the tunnel. The end of the tunnel. Right? Sometimes okay. the end of the tunnel is the scream you made along the way. Good My God. God. Oh, that is amazing, isn't it? Oh, it has a trailer hitch. It has a trailer hitch. Of course, how could I forget? You know, just in case we need to go somewhere fast. You know? Oh, yeah, that's good enough. As you know, the tires have already burst from the excessive acceleration from zero to 800. Oh, I'm too far backward. There, there we, we go. go. We're connected. All right, let's go. Fast vacation. Oh, yeah, this is going to get exciting. <laughs> well, all right. That didn't last very long. Well... You had grandkids. <laughs> they always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. <laughs> well, that's a... Yeah. The cops that's... show up and they're just like, oh. That's one way to make a flatbed here. That vacation was fast. Time to prune that family tree. <laughs> Try it again. Yeah, you know. Uh oh. Not very stable, this. Remember, the weight needs to be toward the tongue, not toward the back. Oh, okay. Well, now they got something to pull you over for. Huh? Ah, yes, yeah, the trailer dance. Oh, yep, just gotta jump over those. All right. Yep, that's the end of that. Hey, the propane tank survived. The cops are just like, what? Huh? 
Merrick Family Vacation. All right. Instead of instead of the camper, let's try a different vehicle. Try a different. I trailer. think the I think the cops are already on to you just because you're driving this. <laughs> I, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, they just see it as like, oh. What about uh dangerous? That sounds fun. Wait, no, or yeah, yeah, that'll that'll be fine. It's a dangerous load because it's all near the back. If you load all your shit near the back of a trailer, not toward the tongue, you are asking to lose your ass. <laughs> yeah, the cops are like, we have so many objections, sir. Halt. And you're like, no. I refuse to yield. Really? You're like, sir, please. Why is this working? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, yep, there we go. I should yep. have tried to swing it. You know. Oh, there we go. Smooth car. Mods are asleep post smooth car. Okay, your downforce is gone, but that's not gonna be a problem. That axle was always like that. <laughs> Smooth. When you see this slaloming down the highway like a razor blade at 170, you know it's a People Motors product. Where? Uh, okay, that was. Uh, yeah, that was, that was some. Impressive. That was pretty metal. Where's a guy in. Where's Smokey trying to get the bandit to? I don't know, but I think it's gonna be a grave. And. The, the other thing is that, like, this seems like an accident you would see in slow motion to who can say where the road goes. Oh, yeah, why? How is that even possible? <laughs> That's right. Use use that nitromethane. Pull that, pull that out. I'm sure you can. I appear to be stuck. <laughs> Dear sir, I appear to have wedged my trailer. The cops are like, why? Of course, the canine guy just running into stuff. Well, that's, that's his way. People Motors, how is that possible? All right, let's do this. We, we've got it. It's, it's, it's back. Be We're back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we drove a car so fucking fast we crashed a stream. It was it how was, cool is that shit? It was when I wedged it under the bridge. That's what did it. Oh, I think. you know, we just made it magic. Also, it says there's 221 people watching somehow. Oh God! Don't worry about it. Don't look at the number. Don't acknowledge the number. It just there's a number. So it's 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 probably Twitch fucking up. Don't worry about it. Like I hit, re uh, yeah, see, I hit reload 208, 208. Yeah, I watched mine it's, fall as well when you did that. Don't, don't worry about it. All you got to do is say it's okay and everything's going to be fine. Uh, 192, we mentioned it and people are leaving. That's typically what Twitch does. It realizes people are starting to have some fun and it's like, well, we can't have that now, can we? All right. With what should we terrorize? What should we terrorize? Well, the Italians with the Italians. I think this little happy truck is just fine to go around Italy. And uh, yeah. See, it's back down to a hundred and something. I'm sure it's not Twitch padding things out. Yeah, that was very interesting. Either we just had a hundred people leave when 204 happened, which is possible, I suppose. That is indeed possible. You never know. Or, uh, it's something funky with Twitch. Oh, it's probably something funky. Don't worry, don't worry. So we have, look, it's it fits perfectly in there. Look at that. Oh, 
And look, you can just back out. No problem. Oh, okay. A little bit of dingle dongle. Uh, nah, there that's with fine. The, what, what's with the front? What's with the front? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be uh, inside the wheel well. Ah, never mind. That sorted. No, wrong one sorted itself out. Okay. Oh, look, a tunnel. And up. Oh, why? Why does this thing keep riding its... Okay, a roundabout. Now, there's a challenge for this vehicle. <laughs> Can it do a circle? Surprisingly well. Yeah. Yeah, it's them straights that got the problem, I guess. Right. Well, let's see what else we got. Now, I don't think you should. The people box could probably plow through this town, no problem. I'm I'm sure it could. I would not take the 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 fast car here, uh, the 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 wingman. I think that car would just. Well, one, the Italians would hear it coming and think it was the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of car auto explodes when you go too fast? Learn too much. The Gremlin 2. Brought to you by Comstar. Yeah, instead of the uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Leaning Car of Beeple. Car with a coal powdered turbine. Give the Italians give the, the fear. I'm gonna give them the fear. I'm gonna go find them Italians and I'm gonna give them the fear. Yeah. See, this car seems normal and if for like Italy. Yeah, I mean, it's handling everything perfectly fine, it's adequate. It's oh, a car. There's a little castle on top of that hill. You think you can get up there, Todd Howard? Think you can just go up there? I think we can try. SCO. I don't think this thing's gonna beat guardrails. I gotta wait for those to fall away. Oh, it will not it will not beat guardrails. I bet we could get up to the top of that. Come on, crossover. Anytime. Not in Europe. Ah. Europe doesn't do crossover. You got to be certain of where you're going. Oh, that was graceful. <laughs> ah, excellent choice. Just leave that for someone else. You've helped enough. Wheels grow back in Europe, says Hat. Hat says wheel. Oh, oh. Uh, but what if you lose both of them? Is it like kidneys? Yeah. Probably. Oh, the car's making sad faces again. <laughs> I wonder if you took the wingman down this road, how fast would it go? I mean, if it could, you know? Hey, the wheels are okay. The tires. It sounds like somebody running a miniature jet turbine in like a model B-54. Yeah, it's going to sound like a multiple death incident here in a minute. 
soon as that thing touches the guardrail, the driver is dead, and whatever flies off this car will kill whoever else. There's some nice old Italian grandma sitting there eating breakfast, and this thing will just take her head off with one of the... Okay, and that wing is going to kill somebody. Uh-oh. It's going to do the dance. Up, up, up. Okay, yeah, all right, save. Never mind those. Those are for <laughs> other drivers now. Finders keepers. Yeah. Finders keepers. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right. So we've had a few dents and a few dings, but so far, this car is fine. Oh no, my greatest nemesis, Donald. It's just a little bit of tunnel. Oh boy, the spins. Oh, that doesn't sound good. They call it the uh, ghost of the guardrail. Yeah. It's like a slot car, you know, but it's a guardrail car. Yeah. You know, I bet it would still win races like this. Goat says he had this open in another tab and thought we were playing a uh, goat simulator. <laughs> That's mean. So I, I have no control of the vehicle anymore besides brake or uh, engine input. Hey, Jesus, take the wheel. We are faithful people here. And he took both of them. <laughs> he did. Jesus, please return one of the wheels. I can, I can make do with just one. Yeah, see, look, it's guide rails. They're here to help. Uh, look, we're going to just... Okay, we're just going to go take this car for a scrape through this idyllic Italian town, you know? Mario Fasteroni here. Jesus, take the wheel. No, not that one. I need that one. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh. Yeah, just kind of meander. Oh, good. That's excellent. <laughs> Auto meth screaming in disguise. <laughs> Imagine driving this car, you know, like a test drive, and you get in the car, and the guy's like trying to talk to you about the car, and you can't hear a goddamn thing because it's a nitromethane <laughs> shit box that has 2,000 horsepower and is tacking out at like 9,600 RPM. All you can hear is $4,000 tires exploding. All right, are we just gonna drive the big America through here and see what happens? Uh-huh. Okay. No. Okay, up here? Yeah, all right, let's do that. Nope. Oh, that's not good. I didn't expect that sign to be uh... In, you know, non-collision object. It's a sign. Well, as you know, when you hear the clank of that guardrail, you're stopped. Oh, almost kissed the other one. All it took was half your tire tread. It's so powerful, I have to hit the emergency brake to get it to shift. I'm stuck. It's... It's 599 horsepower. 600 horsepower would be too much. So I backed it off a little. I'm it appears that you are now the sign. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. Yeah. 
I, I don't think this is good. What about driving the little Tippy Truck Jr. through here? Do you think that would handle this town and the... You know what? I dare you to try to drive it out of this town. Try to get Tippy without Truck Jr. out of the Try town. to get Tippy Jr. out of the town. The Beeple Rebate. The only car to come with a glove box full of Band-Aids. All right. Beeple Rebate. Getting out of this town. Getting out of this town like a chase movie. You know? Oh. Oh, you almost kissed it. Oh, God. <laughs> Some lady sitting there smoking a cigarette on her stoop. <laughs> Just like, oh, shit. Oh, 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 uh huh. This thing's handling is more awkward than the TNG episode masks. Oh, God. All right. I'm out of the town. You've made it out of the town. You know what? Challenge mode. Take it to the big city in America. Italy is one thing. It's got a lot of picturesque roadway in between, you know? So, let's see what we can do. Let's, let's take it to the good old big American city, West Coast. Yeah, let's put it on a... Yeah, let's uh, put it in uh Let's see. Let's start on the highway. Service station. The yeah. Right, service yeah, station. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, service station. The quarry's where we'll go blow it up for the car test. Like the stunts, it'll go off the cliff and just... Do we want to be running from the cops? I don't think that's going to be necessary. I think that this thing will explode on its own. <laughs> This car has a music video, and it's Sludgecore. It's Sludgecore Alvin and the Chipmunks. Boom, boom, boom. I listened. I listened to the whole Alvin and the Chipmunks album, Sludgecore. Uh, I'll say this, Diamond Dongs, like Deep Fried, is actually pretty metal. That's a pretty metal episode. This is this is a bad car. All right, is everyone ready? Okay, yeah. I, the entire sludge sludge core chipmunks is pretty amazing. All right, let's take let's take this little tippy truck out there, and let's just see if we can get it through town, like a car chase, like the movie Bullet, right? Classic movie car chase. Fantastic movie car chase. Okay, what's going to be chasing us then? Uh, time. No, uh, let's put some cops on us and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, entropy will chase us. The inevitable <laughs> heat death of the universe. I was going to say uh, a mix of entropy... Detente. Oh God! Because I can't. Because we cannot pronounce it right legally. It's the al dente. dente. When I heard al dente as a kid, I thought that was the guy who'd invented it. Because <laughs> you know, when you're a kid, you don't know any better. And this is this is an era where you know nobody had the internet. So I was like, "Why is it called al dente, Dad?" And he's like, "That's the guy who invented pasta." Accepted that face value. Yeah. I did not I did not question shit. I knew better. So it was just like Al Dente it is. Uh my dad said that uh little Caesar, you know, uh was the guy who invented pizza. Like Julius Caesar. He also invented I uh, probably. He also said he invented Caesar salad. And then when I got older and spoke some Latin, um <laughs> I decided to pronounce Caesar salad with a hard C. So Ave true to Caesar salad, uh, which is great. If you ever want to make people mad or think you're a little crazy or you need a little bit of personal space in a public gathering and people start talking about celebrities, um, just pronounce their name wrong, especially if they're Italian. So someone's like, oh, you know, I like Al Pacino. And you're like, I like Al Pacino too. Or, you know, Joe Pesci. 
We gotta get to the city. Gotta get to the city. In Knife Fight City, there is only one car unstable enough to carry all of these knives. The Beeple Rebate. I just... The official car of Knife Fight City 9. The Beeple Rebate story. Every time that this car almost tips over and I manage to save it, I imagine Gilbert Godfrey going like, Whoa! Oh, nope. 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 There goes some of that. Yep. Some of them parts. Yeah, there's them wheels. Leaf oh. springs were a mistake. Up oh, and Mazel Tov. All right, let's go. It's got no go left. Yeah, I love Joe Pepsi. He's my favorite home alone. How did it gain? How did it gain energy as it continued to flip? Leaf springs the size of a house. It's like a rubber band constantly being stretched every time you drive this thing. You know, it's an accordion. The whole suspension's an accordion. <laughs> oh, yep. A gentle left-hand turn. One of our... One of our great nemeses. Ah, yes. Salad Caesarian. We filled the suspension with super fluid. Trademark. I just love how the inside looks like ass. It does. I can totally see this vehicle not having a firewall, floors, anything. It's that cheap. You know what I mean? Yeah. It only looks like a car from the outside. That's on the poster. Which looks like an old print newsletter. No, 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 no. We gotta make Bay City. We gotta make Bay City with a whole truck full of fucking knives. This thing just fucking spins. It's great. <laughs> I think stuck. you're married now. You may yeah, now kiss I'm, the bride. I'm stuck. You may now kiss the bride. Yeah, 80% of Beeple Motors advertising is via zines. <laughs> it's like a Suzuki Samurai. But worse. I don't think you can get this thing into the city. I don't, not with the cops chasing me. I would have to do it at like 20. So what other car yeah. do we want to try to get to the city with? All right, you know what? I tell you what, with the cops chasing you, try, try the... Uh... <laughs> Try try the Beeple box with the cops chasing you. Okay. I think that would be more than fine. That thing turned out to be a secret stunner in all this. It's like the Suzuki Samurai went at it with a literal katana. Like we got katana money. We got QVC katana money. Fuck yeah, we do. All right. I once went to a friend of mine's house there as a go. kid. There we go. on. And I'm... And I made fun of his dad. Like, okay. Like, his dad was a dork. Okay. Okay. Like, I mean, just a total dork. Drove a Chevette. Had a pocket protector. Just a, a total... Oh, that's, a total, that's no fucking fair. A total dork, right? Yeah. But he liked what he liked. And he would watch QVC at night and buy one thing a paycheck for himself. And so you would see QVC commercials at your house as a kid because I had a touch of insomnia even back then watching late night QVC. And you see, you know, of course, things like people being stupid and, yeah. you know, being like, oh, these real, you know, Chinese throwing stars and all sorts of crap. And so I would remember watching that and being like, I wonder what he's going to buy. And then I'd go over to my friend's house later in the week and he'd fucking have it. So one time they had a collection of knives that was just all, you know, samurai swords and, 
you know, just all sorts of stuff. And it was like, 99.99, and we throw in a free throwing star and four size. And it was just like the biggest dumb shit ever. And I said, he won't buy that. So, later on, I go to my friend's house, and, you know, there's his dad sitting there. And he's got, he's got a bandage on his arm. And I asked, what was that from? And apparently his dad bought the whole set and thought it was all cool. And they got one of those throwing stars and whipped it at the wall. And it bounced right <laughs> off and stuck in his arm. <laughs> and I said, I would have, I would have paid money to see that. I would have paid money to see that. Like, he's sitting there like, here's how you do it. <laughs> you know, just, here's how you do it. Came back, stuck him right in the arm. I went out to the garage. Lo and behold, there was like a dent in the wall. And then there was just a blood spatter, like, in the unsealed concrete. And I was like, this is amazing. It's like a story that tells itself. <laughs> Yeah, spring steel probably shouldn't be thrown. <laughs> Time to go to the ER, as seen on TV. Well, what he had in the garage is this guy had tried to do a bit of the old soundproofing by just laying up like big old sheets of plywood. And I think it just ricocheted off that, you know, and oh, it landed okay, yeah. right. Yeah, it, it's it, believe me, this guy didn't have concrete walls or anything. I didn't grow up in like a cult compound. I knew a guy who put mattresses up on his walls so that he could uh, shadow box his walls. I'm sure that ended well. His knuckles got really, really hard. And <laughs> I can I can imagine. I remember a guy got nunchucks in high school. There was an agency around me that used to carry nunchucks. What? Yeah. They would carry nunchucks. Imagine Instead getting pulled over a by cop. a cop. Imagine getting pulled over by a cop and the cop takes that out and he's like, <laughs> you know, doing all that Bruce Lee <laughs> shit. No, yeah, that's what they did. Like, instead of baton training, they would they would do the baton training with the foam baton at the academy. And, right. And uh, then when they graduated, they'd have nunchucks and a custom Kydex holster on their belt. Imagine that. Like, you finally finish your prohibition, your ride-alongs and instruction as a cop, and then someone's like, all right, son, you've earned these, and hands you nunchucks. Use them with great honor. <laughs> well, and they, they had, like, the ribbed grenade design, like a PR-24 baton. But it Why? was just the handles of two PR-24 straight sticks connected by a chain. You think the guy went home and made those? You, you think he... Like, yeah, it's Knife Fight City PD. No, so it's a, it was an actual company. I forget what they were called, but they were like... What's, Sticks what's of it called? Justice or something. Sticks of Justice. I'm going to steal that for a Knife Fight City movie. Sticks of Justice. <laughs> when all the cops bought all their shit off QVC. <laughs> Sticks of Justice. No, I'm, it's Dodge City, Kansas was the agency. The Dodge so, City fucking, like, <laughs> Wyatt Earp. That so City. imagine Wyatt Earp falls through a portal in time, and they're like, Officer Earp, allow me to show you a glimpse of the future you will bring. And he's like, is there prosperity in Dodge City? And he sees a cop walking around with those, and he's like, what in the cinnamon toast fuck? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing that they did. That's, that's... Imagine... Uh, Imagine someone asks for your ID and they reach for the nunchucks. <laughs> Do you laugh or produce the ID? Uh. Oh, no. Okay, Pretzel Barmer says, but nunchucks, sometimes referred to as nunchaku, were once used by as many as 200 police departments nationwide to more compassionately and more safely control suspects. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, like no, I can I'm, understand I'm not... some 
I'm not lying about it. This is real. That's this lost. sounds. It sounds like it'd be like if you told me that you know, oh yeah, there was an apartment near us where the whole trunk was full of bees. <laughs> like it's it's just that level of thinking. Like oh yeah, we pulled someone over and I threw the bees at him. The bees of justice. They fell out of fashion once tasers came into use. Well, I will tell you that 2015 is the last time I saw a Dodge City officer with them on his belt. I don't like that. I I just, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I just, I want to see the cops at the graduation of that training, and I want to see how many of them have black eyes. You know what I mean? <laughs> just from just from knocking themselves fucking senseless in the face, whipping those around, thinking things they've seen on TV weren't. No. I'm sure some of them were very proficient, but I'm not going to, like... I don't want to be around that when that's happening. Allegedly, allegedly, the uh, Colorado State Police still allow them to be issued for their riot control guys. Well, I'm not going to fuck around with a guy who's got nunchucks. He's going to hurt himself, and then me, then himself, and then I'll have to pay for all of it. He'll be like, this guy beat me up, and I'll let you beat yourself up. <laughs> Good Lord. Is somebody else getting pulled over, or are they coming to bully me again? I don't know. I think you're just sitting here minding your own business. Oh, wow. That guy's really sending it. Is he going to make it? I don't know. The cop just fucked off. Yeah, I think he's just, like, late for something. See, like, imagine if instead of nunchucks, you heard that the police had, like, I don't know, halberds, right? <laughs> I mean, that would be cool. It yeah. would be really cool, but again, same level of, huh? Mutually right. assured destruction. <laughs> Brother, I'm going to beat us both up at the same time. All right, drive your Carabinieri Pinsgauer and see what happens. I want to see if it's as tippy as it looks. Uh, it's a Pinsgauer. It probably will be. It took the cop a minute to register that the shape and monstrosity used to be a car. They were like, wait, what? I thought that was an art installation called oh, Crap. Oh, God, no, no. Make that go away. Oh, that doesn't sound good or look good. That was bad. Go. Yeah, I knew. Oh, well, you found the fire hydrant. Congratulations. It's totaled. That radiator holds some steam, I'm sure. actually pretty stable at least in in this speed yeah cop gets out of the car pulls out a broadsword and still the patrol rifle starts applying like war paint Woad for the Scottish police. You imagine getting off arrested by an officer with a claymore. He's like, you done fucked up? And just chases you. You're like, ah. All right. So what? Oh, an inflated mat. Not a car I'm familiar with. <laughs> oh, wait. A that's the, that's the people wheel. car. You know, Mike set one of those up and we tried to jump through it and all it did was fold the car into a circle. Which is neat. Oh, an upright piano. Fuck yes. Just put that in the road. I, like, if you're looking for a jackass level skit, put an upright... Oh, can you drive it? No? no. All right. Yeah, just put it there and hit it with something. I think that would be awesome. Right, we're gonna nail it with the go fast. Oh, God. The wingman. The wingman. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Ah, okay. 
careful. <laughs> that first wing just fell off from sheer fear. Yeah, it happens. They, they're only secured with glue. All right. It's time to play me out, Johnny. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. That was pretty good. The critical piano test, as you know. I've seen this music video. Oof. So who's up next? Is it Quish with cooking on the rim? He's been yeah. doing that like a year. He has. Holy shit. Like, uh, yeah, a whole is, year. This is all we've got for you tonight. That's all we've got. But we do have spirit, and it's all good. Tomorrow is America's birthday. It is. So please, please keep in mind, uh, if we start bullying English people, it is our tradition. Have fun, be safe, yada, yada. What we normally say, be nice to each other. It's not that hard. It just takes five minutes. And if you can't be nice to people, you can buy them a cup of coffee. And while they try to figure out why you did that, you can run the other way. You don't have to talk to them anymore. They're fucking busy. Indeed. What? Oh, yeah. There's the rest of that piano. And there's that cop that turned down that way a bit. And now he's, oh. He's just watching me. Waiting for me to do something else. Like total that mercury? Oh, yep, you woke him up. Oh, wow. Well. 20,000 firm. I know what it's worth. I have seen people demanding $20,000 for like Jeep Comanches. It is insane. The car I bought is worth more now than when I bought it. That was my pickup truck. How's that for a fun slice of what the fuck? Yeah. Ah, yes. This car was built before they invented steering. Earl Grey. Tepid. Uh, yeah, Alright. Go ahead, guys. I was going to say, what a wonderful car. <laughs> People, remember to smile. So, all right, we will get out of here. You guys have fun. And enjoy Cooking on the Rim. Indeed, coming up next, Cooking on the Rim.